While phones are getting better and better at stabilizing video by themselves, adding a gimbal or stabilizer can almost always make a vast improvement for smooth movements. We've tried out some of its smaller entry-level phone gimbals in the past, but today we're checking out the Zhiyun Smooth 5. Starting at $170 is considerably more expensive than the Smooth XS that we last reviewed, but it packs a lot more features and takes the mobile gimbal to the next level. So let's dive in and take a look at the Zhiyun Smooth 5. Thanks for watching 9 to 5 Toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and enable notifications with the bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Hey everyone, Jordan here with 9 to 5 Toys, and today we are checking out the Zhiyun Smooth 5. Now this is a stabilizer or gimbal that's aimed directly at mobile devices, so your iPhones, your Pixels, you know, everything like that. And it is a 3-axis stabilizer, you know, which is pretty much as best you can get for mobile devices. And then Zhiyun also has their own ZY Cami app, which unlocks a lot of features in this thing. So let's dive in and check it out. Now it can be picked up in two different packages. First, starting at $170, is the standalone kit. And that by itself, uh, let me take off this, this is an added accessory, uh, but that by itself what you're going to get is the gimbal or the stabilizer, you're going to get this tripod uh, down here at the bottom, and then you're also going to get the charging cable, and that's it for $170. If you want to take it up to the combo kit though, which is what we have here, you will get the carrying case, you still get the gimbal and the tripod, you get the charging cable, but then you get a magnetic light uh, that can add a lot of light to your shot, which is a pretty cool feature, and it just uh, snaps onto the top here, and then it also has these different colored filters so if you want to change the color temperature of the light uh, that's really easy to do with these little magnetic filters and we'll just show that really quick here but these just clip onto the top and you can even you know stack them if you want onto each other to you know really get kind of crazy with the colors uh, but that's just a really cool, very convenient, easy to use feature, which gives you a lot more functionality on this gimbal. And then a couple of things you get, you get a one year subscription, it looks like. That's what this card is for their Zhiyun Prime, which has unlocked some more features within the Zhiyun XY Cami app and a little wrist strap that you can attach to the gimbal, which makes it, you know, just a little bit more secure. All right, so first off, let's take a look at just the gimbal itself. We'll take the magnetic light off. We will take the tripod off. And a couple things you can see is kind of flop it around here. I was using it, so I don't have it in the locked mode. So when you are transporting it, you do want to lock it. And that's really easy to do. There is a uh, physical lock here on this axis. This would be the pan axis. You flip that over and then it'll lock in position. And then with the other two, uh, you just rotate them one way. And then there's like a physical notch you have to kind of force it into. And the same with the third here. You can kind of see where those lock into on the actual motor here. But taking a look at the overall design, you have a nice big handle with a rubberized grip. It's really easy to hold on to. You don't feel like it's going to slip out of your hand. And then moving up to controls, we do have that little thumbstick that can be moved all around. That's what will actually control the gimbal. And it can also be pressed in for some different controls. Next to that, we have a red button, which is your record button, which will start and stop recordings. Above that, the mode button. That will swap between all the different uh, tracking modes on here. So you have a pan mode, you have a POV mode, you have a locked mode, you have a vertical mode, and we'll get in and take a look at all those here in a little bit. And then above that, we have a spinning dial with different buttons uh, for left and right, up and down, as well as a button in the middle. So pressing the button in the middle and holding that for a couple seconds will turn on the light if you have that attached, and then turning this dial uh, up or down will adjust the brightness of the light. And then otherwise, you can, you know, change controls for display, you can change your ISO, you can watch uh, recorded media from here here and just a few different controls you can do on that wheel. Then next to the left we have a menu button and then over here on the side of the gimbal we have this little control wheel which can control the zoom of the gimbal. So when you have everything connected and you know hooked up through the app turning this will control the zoom uh, of the camera. So pretty cool feature there. And then over on the other side we do have a little threaded mount here if you want to add some accessories to it. And on the back we have a trigger which will have a few different functions. One of which if you just tap it once will lock onto something. Tap it twice will reset your view you know if you've gotten kind of crazy and you're looking up at the sky and you want to reset it straight forward just double tap that twice then pushing it three times will turn the camera around into a selfie mode and then right above that we do the USB-C port for recharging a couple other things here uh, on the bottom we have that threaded mount so it works perfectly with the uh, Zion tripod or you can add this to a taller tripod or to a boom arm or something like that uh, a lot you can do there and then up at the top you know on the axis we'd actually mount your phone in this little expanding 
uh, portion here, there is a USB-C port. So if you need to charge your phone while you are using it, you can plug it in there and get a little bit of extra juice. So that's pretty cool. All right, so now let's talk through getting this set up. Uh, it's pretty simple. If you've used one of these before, it's gonna be very similar. If you haven't, um, it's, it is pretty simple, just a few steps. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is mount your phone, and there are a couple different ways you can do that, either in a portrait mode or a landscape mode. And uh, as you can see on the top here, I'll get another B-roll shot of it, but there's a little icon that tells you which way you want the camera to be facing. So you want, the, you want to align your camera with that. So for here, it's telling me that my camera needs to face that way. So I will do that. And you just expand the arms and then you can mount your phone in there. And so then with that mounted, um, something else you can do is you want to kind of balance it a little bit. You don't have to balance every single axis like a bigger gimbal, but you do have to do a little bit of balancing. So we'll unlock it and then we'll unlock the other arm here. Uh, there we go. And then you just want to make sure that it's balanced this way. And as you can see, it's leaning pretty far to one side. So there is a little lever that you can open up and then you can just slide this arm left to right and try to make it so that it's not, you know, falling either way. All right, so that seems pretty balanced right there. I'll lock it and we're good to go. And then lastly, you wanna unlock the pan axis down here. So we will unlock that, everything's going free. And then on the side here, there is a power button and a function button. So just hold that power button for a couple seconds. Lights will start flashing on the front here in the mode and then the gimbal is set up and ready to go. And then if you wanna set it on the tripod, so it's you know standing straight and you don't have to have your hands on it all the time, uh, definitely something I recommend. I pretty much always have the tripod on there. It also gives you just like another way to hold it so you can two hand it and then it feels a little more stable. Now with this powered on, um, you can still you know control the direction of the gimbal and you control the different modes and change that. But to unlock even more functionality, you are gonna to wanna to download and install the ZY Cami app. You need to get an account set up there and then connect to the gimbal through your phone on the app. But before we dive into the app, let's take a look at the different follow modes. So first off, uh, when it powers up, it's in PF or pan follow. So as you turn, it's gonna turn with you. If you go vertical, it doesn't change. So this is keeping everything stable except for turning left and right. So it's gonna keep that horizon level, it's just gonna you know turn left and right. And then pushing that button once, you go over to L or lock mode. And this is gonna keep it focused on one direction. So as much as I turn this and you know tilt it, up and down, it's not gonna move at all. So it's just locked in that one direction. And you can reset it by double tapping the trigger. So that'll set it to a new direction and a new location. And then when you do have it set up with the app, you can push the trigger once in this lock mode, and I think even in any mode, and it will lock onto whatever's in the middle of your frame. And then however you move the camera, it's gonna track that thing that's in the middle. So pretty cool if you wanna do some you know, rotating movements around a subject, uh, that makes that really easy to do. And pushing that mode button again, we're over in F mode or follow mode. So this is going to both follow me when I'm panning and tilting. So going up and down, and left and right is going to follow me. Uh, still gonna keep it you know, stable for the horizon though. And then pushing it one more time, we're in POV mode. So this is gonna actually tilt the camera with you a little bit or roll the camera with you a little bit when you do make those movements. So this gives you a little bit more control if you want a little bit more control over what the camera is doing. And then lastly, we have V, which I assume stands for like a vertical mode where it's shooting straight up. And so what this lets you do is if you wanna point it straight, you can get some cool moves where you know you do some like spinning moves like this and it's gonna keep it locked in that direction. So just unlocking some more creative freedom there and different ways to use it. All right, and so now let's dive into the app and take a look at everything you can do there. I'm gonna start a screen recording so we can see what is going on here. And uh, they have a bunch of different things you can do on here. You can kind of set up, you know, some like smart features and use some tutorials and get some templates and some built-in music and stuff like that. Uh, if you want to go that route, kind of makes creating media pretty quick and easy. Or you can hit the camera icon up here in the upper left and get into the shooting mode. And then in the shooting mode, this is where you have a ton of control. So you can kind of see my camera sitting over there. Uh, and yeah, my little kids area over there in the corner as well. Um, so looking at everything you can do in here, uh, kind of in this base screen, we have a bunch of different menu options up across the top. So that's where you can change your exposure mode, you can change your resolution and your frame rate. Uh, you can add some filters and some other things. Right in the middle, it's just gonna show you, you know, where you're framed and uh, kind of your exposure. And then you have that 1x, and that's telling you your zoom level. And if you use this dial on the side, you can zoom in, and obviously that will adjust it. So 
pretty cool there. And then right underneath that, it's giving you readout for your frame rate, your ISO, and you know your exposure. So I'll set a EV zero. And then down underneath that, uh, you can look back in your library at previously captured media. You can turn on gesture controls. Um, so if you are in front of it, you can make a gesture and uh, control the camera that way, which is pretty cool. And it'll actually track you and take photos and videos and follow you around. You can start and stop your recordings. Uh, you can also switch over to different modes. So photo, video, pano, what else do we have here? Slow motion, dolly zoom, time-lapse, hyperlapse. There are a ton of different shooting modes here within the ZY Cami app. And all the way to the left, what do we have here? A live for doing live streams. And then in the smart mode, it's gonna kind of take these templates and just add some stuff to it. If you wanna, you know, just kind of do those automatic kind of settings. But here I kind of want to show you that follow mode. So if we put something in the middle of the frame, I'll grab onto my camera. Even though we're in PF mode, if we pull the trigger once, it'll lock onto the camera. And then however I turn it, it's going to track that. So uh, pretty cool functionality there. Uh, really quick and easy way to lock onto something and keep it in your frame and then push it one more time and it will cancel that track. So uh, yeah, just a really cool feature there. All right, so the other thing we wanna definitely wanna talk about and show here uh, is this magnetic light. So it has a little bit of weight to it. So when you are attaching this, you're gonna want to rebalance it to get the uh, best performance out of the gimbal. So I think that's pretty good. And then we will just turn it back on. All right, so now to control the light, um, there is that button in the middle of the scroll wheel. If you hold that for two seconds, it should turn on. Yeah, and then actually turning the scroll wheel will make that brighter or dimmer. And this thing really does get uh, plenty bright. I'll hold it out at arm's length and kind of point it towards my face here to get an idea uh, for what it's doing. You know, looking at it, um, I really wouldn't want to stare at it because it is pretty bright. It's leaving kind of mark, you know, it's leaving some kind of marks and spots in my eyes. Uh, so it gives you a good idea of uh, what it's doing there and how much uh, light it can actually give off. So even in a bright setting here with a studio light, uh, it's making a difference and you can see what it's doing. And then, of course, we do have those little clip on magnetic uh, filters if you want to change the color temperature of that. So you can just pop it on there and uh, quickly and easily change that. So uh, that's a really handy feature and something I haven't really seen um, in kind of this you know gimbal market. There have been some other gimbals that have some built-in LED lights, which is really great. Nice to get a little bit extra light in there, uh, but nothing with this kind of platform. You can quickly and easily change the color temperature of it. So that is a pretty cool addition. Lighting is really important. It makes a really big difference in your videos. So having something, you know, sort of a key light that you can turn on and access quickly is another really great feature on here. But just keep in mind that that's not a part of the standard kit. That is a part of that uh, combo kit, which is $50 more than the standard kit. So $220 will get you everything in this kit, including the light. So when you want to set it up in landscape mode instead of portrait, you just need to rotate this little clip where the phone connects into. Just rotate it 90 degrees, and then you can clip your phone into there the same way. So you just expand it, and then I'm going to push it all the way up against the motor here. And then you will need to rebalance it as well. Uh, it looks like I have this one pretty close right now. And then we'll power it on, and it should be in landscape mode. It is in landscape. Uh, another cool feature here, um, this thing works really well for shooting low angles. Um, and so I'm just gonna take this off to kind of demonstrate that. And what you can do is you can tilt it, you know, all the way down, go inverted, upside down, and then uh, still have some more room in there. So the way it's built, it's really great for low angle stuff as well. And then one other thing to keep in mind that I noticed in both portrait and landscape modes is that when you kind of roll it to the left or right, once you get to like 45 degrees, you can see it actually flips over into the other orientation there. I did this in both modes. So I have it in landscape, but when I flip it, it goes into that. So uh, something to keep in mind, and it does that with both sides, left and right. So if you wanna, if you don't wanna do that, you know, probably leave most of your movements to just uh, panning left and right and tilting up and down. All right, so that's an overview of the actual gimbal, getting it set up and everything, uh, but it's pretty cold and snowy outside today. So let's take it and see what kind of shots we can get with this.
All right, well, hopefully that gives a good idea of, you know, what kinds of things you can do with this gimbal. Uh, having a mobile gimbal is a lot of fun. This one is, you know, pretty big. Uh, it's not as inconspicuous as some smaller, more affordable gimbals might be. But if, you know, performance is what you're looking for, I definitely think you're going to be impressed with the Zion Smooth 5. If you want something that's simpler and smaller, definitely check out the Smooth XS. Uh, it's really portable. It packs down really small, but then also extends kind of like a selfie stick so you can get some different angles, but it's only a two axis gimbal. Anyways, I'll put a link to that review up here in the corner if you want to check that out. And then, of course, DJI has some of their own mobile gimbals. They have the OM5 and the OM4 SE, which are pretty affordable for what they are. The OM4 SE, I believe, comes in like $120 and the OM5 comes in at $160. Both of those are in their kind of base setup. Uh, but they don't have all the same features as what you can get on the Smooth 5. They definitely don't have that light in this combo kit and some other features as well. You are paying a little bit more for the Smooth 5, but I also feel like you're getting uh, some really strong performance as well as some great features built in here too. All right, and that'll do it for our review of the Zion Smooth 5. Let us know what you think about it down in the comments below. And if you're looking for some other videos to watch, definitely check out that Smooth XS video, as well as the recent Manfrotto gimbal for DSLRs that we reviewed as well. So check both of those out. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. This is Jordan with 9to5Toys. to